actually top tapped off trail in the wrong direction. I tapped on the rock over there when I'm actually going that way because the sign is wrong. So this is the trail I came out of so now I am back on trail and uh, I head up the road for a little bit. Good afternoon it is day 128. Um, I've just had a wonderful zero or double zero um, in Ashland. Um, came off trail and uh, I'd just given up on getting a ride because this road's so quiet. Started walking and uh, turned around I saw three people I've been uh, walking around um, came out and then a car turned up, picked them up and came down the road, picked me up. Um, so we got dropped off at a pizza restaurant, had lunch and then I took a bus um, into the outfitter. Uh, lucky I did it then because I got the last pair of uh, shoes in my size in the city and uh, apparently nationwide there's a shortage because the shipment has been late. So I got very lucky. They are uh, slightly different colour, they're grey and orange um, instead of red and black. Well, that's cool, doesn't matter. Um, stayed at the Ashland uh, Hostel um, in a, well, I'd say a dorm room. There were three beers, one of which was vacant all the time. So two women, or well, one other woman and myself. Um, only $25 a night and it's like a beautiful house. Um, it's not really a typical grungy uh, hostel. Um, and it had a weird mix of people. It's a theatre place. Apparently Ashland is well known for its theatre. And there's a theatre festival happening at the moment. Um, so the hostel was full of all these hearty uh, theatre people and us hikers and it was really neat. Um, but yeah, beautiful place to stay and only $25. Um, the next day I um, basically did my laundry, uh, did my resupply and the trouble with being in a city is it takes longer to get in from place to place. Um, also did the Western Union, <laughs> getting some money, hopefully for the last time. Hopefully my credit card is in my next location. <laughs> uh, and then yesterday um, was relaxing, trying to catch up on the videos. Still so far behind. Um, met up with uh, um, Packin and a few others. Went to the Indian restaurant that had an all-you-can-eat buffet for lunch. Um, sorted out my resupply. Um, because I'm so sick of the bars, I've gone for meal replacement powders and protein powders, um, gels, um, and just some different things, but because they had to buy in bulk, I've packaged it up, um, and I sent those specialty items through um, one to Mazuma Village at Crater Lake, one to Shelter Cove Resort, and the rest to Sisters. Um, not cheap, um, but hey, I wasn't going to waste it. And I've done a little look at things, and as long as I've got no injuries, I'm going to look at doing the 24 hour challenge from just past Sisters Cove Resort through to just before Sisters. And then I can take a day or two to recover in Sisters before continuing on. Um, this morning, just relaxed, cranked out another video, um, went and had a final milkshake and meal. Um, I'm carrying a burrito, um, a nectarine and a, a pastry, just for some fresh food for tonight. Um, got a hitch to the end of town, to the interstate, relatively quickly, it's only about five minutes. And then it was a uh, 35 minutes waiting for a ride from the uh, interstate on. Got a ride with a lovely lady. Um, had a nice chat. It's only seven miles. So back on trail. Um, the day or well, the night after I arrived, the uh, 
smoke from massive wildfire um, hit Ashland. The fire, I think it's about 80 kilometers north. Boy, it got smoky. And then Friday, it's so, so smoky. Everyone was wandering around with respirators, or masks over their faces. Um, cleared a little bit yesterday and today it's a bit hazy um, but sort of breathing in I can barely smell that it's smoke but it's not going to be good for the lungs unfortunately um, yeah so today like most post zeros just going to take it easy get used to it I've also got the new shoes to get used to um, and then yeah Crank it up and enjoy Oregon! <laughs> Three people on the road in front, just as I got out of the car, they came out of the track. They took the uh, Callahan's track option. Um, I'm glad I took my option. I mean, I got lucky I got a ride, so didn't have to do any road walking either direction. Um, so yeah, much better than knowing I had to do another mile uphill and then along the track. So, good. Nice to be back on trail again. Um, uh, body, it's all right. My um, shins are a little uh, s not sore. I can feel my shins, and that's because I went so fast on that last day, um, heading downhill. I started to strain my shins, which is what happens when I go too fast. Um, so I'll just take. <laughs> I know I say this a lot, take it easy <laughs> uh, and just let the, the legs warm up. Left knee seems good, right knee very slightly feel it um, but nah, pretty good. Way a little footbridge over a dry creek and some horses. <laughs> a couple of people with horses just off the trail taking a break. Almost a first horses since uh, before Eagle Rock on the trail. I oh, know they had that maintenance crew that had three horses. Still not seen a lot of this flat uh, Oregon. <laughs> Pretty early to me so far. Um, been steady climbing from the road. We've got to get back up on the ridge lines before we can then continue along the ridge lines. So up and up. <laughs> These are pretty cool. <laughs> it's a big rock in front there. Might get a better view a little bit further along. Yeah, there it is up there. <laughs> big rock formation. Not going to be getting many distance views or panoramas aren't going to be very impressive. It's just too smoky. I'll do one when I get to a a clearer spot just so you can see the, how smoky it is. I have to be careful with my hiking poles because they're getting stuck in the massive cracks along the path. <laughs> Here's that neat rock formation again. <laughs> Panorama, smoke, the faintest outline of hills behind the smoke, smoke, <laughs> and then that neat rock formation up here. Ooh, ooh, peregrine falcon nesting area. February 1st to 30th of July. Ah, cool. It'd be cool if I could see it. So they nest around the, that big lock that I saw, which is pilot rock. Cool. turning. Definitely don't want to go up that massive rock. <laughs> we'll go around the base of it. Actually feeling a bit lethargic this afternoon. Um, legs don't have a whole lot of energy so I'm just uh, plodding along. I'm having a bad lace day. That's a day when you just can't quite get your shoelaces comfortable. It's too tight, so I loosen them up. Now it's too loose, so I tighten them ever so slightly. Still too loose, tighten them a fraction more. Suddenly it's too tight now, and it just goes back and forward. It's only my right foot doing this, but oh, 
so annoying i can't don't know how many times i've stopped but it's a lot that's frustrating <laughs> i still haven't got it right now i've got to tighten it tiny tiny bit uh, but yeah just sometimes you have those days where you can't get the tension right from there this is a uh, pilot rock up there and then panorama you just can't see anything first range of hills and that's it <laughs> too much smoke um i'm still not smelling anything and i don't feel it clogging up but i am up high so we're probably above the smoke now that was a little impromptu hiker meeting <laughs> and we're uh three four five six people <laughs> Just randomly all decided to stop at the same time. It's been a lot of up and down. Um, got a little bit more energy back, but still not great. Not what I'd be expecting after a double zero. Um, so there's a uh, spring and a campsite um, about half a mile ahead so that'll make it about 1800 <laughs> that'll do for the day um, yeah it'll, it'll be a busy campsite because there's a group of three plus another two singles um, so uh, Gatux is space for four <laughs> so we'll see if we can squeeze all of us in that was a little pond just below the campsite. 